Well, class, we got a dried out piece of parchment that we got here. And now what we want to do is this. We want to create a border that's going to go all the way around here. Now, because ours is a little bit smaller than the example video I have for you guys, we're going to go ahead and change our dimensions just a little bit. As opposed to doing an inch and an inch, what we're going to do is we're going to measure an inch in from the sides and a half inch from there to create the border. So what's going to happen is this. Taking your ruler right to the side, you want to measure over one inch and then an inch and a half. Slide the ruler down, one inch, inch and a half. Take those marks, straight edge of your ruler, match them up, and you should be good to go. It does get a little tedious because you're going to have to do this four times for each sides of your paper. All right, one inch, half inch, one inch, half inch there. And we're going to go ahead and put this here. And we're going to go ahead and take that right there. So essentially, we're creating a nice little box. Finishes it off, makes it look really good. All right, one inch, half inch, one inch and a half, one inch and a half again, and finish it off like this. Now once we have our border done, what we want to do next is this. We want to go ahead and we want to put in the letter that you guys created on your practice example. All right, And it's entirely up to you. Remember it should be one of your initials, but you want to think about that and how you're going to go ahead and put that in. Keep it big. And in the ex example video two that we have, they even have some of the letter will overlap a little bit of your border. So if you go in here and you add some of that in through here, all right, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of add my, my C in through here. I'm going to go ahead and add my C. Maybe my C is going to overlap a little bit of my border. Okay, I'm going to bring this down here. Boom, just like that. Pull this down here like this. Maybe have it overlap just a little bit right there. And that could be a good start for my C. Okay, it's a little bit hard to see this on here as well because of the crinkled paper. But if you kind of, there we go. If you kind of see this and move it around a little bit, you can kind of see the shape of that. All right, from here, guys. We can go ahead and start adding whatever patterns we want, um, details, and if we have colored pencils, we can start adding some color to this as well.